Good afternoon. I would love to see your faces, but I can't. So this is the new reality, but we'll make the best of it. Um, I'm really excited to be here today. My name is Daniela, and I want to thank you for the, for the welcome today. I am happy to be here to talk about the Faculty of Health Sciences and what it has to offer. Our student ambassador, Katie, will help me monitor the Q&A section. So please feel free to use it while I am presenting. At the end of the presentation, if we have some time and there are still unanswered questions, we can go over them. Before I begin, allow me to remind you that our open house today gives you access to many booths, all with different types of information. As well, be sure to check out our Faculty of Health Sciences booth and don't be shy to pop over in our chat to say hi or to ask any questions you may have. Our Dean, members from the academic office and professors will be more than happy to welcome you. I have been working at the University of Ottawa for more than 12 years now, and I am proud to be a member of such an impressive institution. Our prime location, research excellence, and student experience are a few reasons why we are one of the top 150 universities in the world. Let's move on to the Faculty of Health Sciences specifically, which forms an integral part of this university, thanks to its programs directly linked to current challenges in the healthcare sector. In addition, our students have access to state-of-the-art laboratories and facilities, experiential learning opportunities, which is just a fancy word to say that there are other ways to learn outside of the classroom, as well as access to numerous scholarships to support you financially. Most importantly, our teachers student, and students have mobilized within the community to offer support during this worldwide pandemic. It is thanks to their solid training in the health sciences that they, are, they have been able to have such a positive impact. Now, before I go on, I want you to take a second and consider these disciplines, sports, nutrition and health. What do they tell you? I personally have always been intrigued about how the body works, its amazing capacity to heal and auto-regulate, and how the food we eat can make or break our bodies. To put this information in context and give you a current and real life example of the importance of these fundamental disciplines on society, I invite you to watch the documentary called The Game Changers, which is available on Netflix. This research combines notions of core elements such as physical activity, health, and nutrition. Also, this documentary, which is an example among many, is the result of innovation and research in the disciplines studied precisely here at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Intriguing, right? Well, I'm very proud to say that we have great programs in all of these fields built to prepare you to tackle current and important healthcare challenges. Let's take a closer look. The faculty is divided into five primary schools, which all offer programs, or most of them offer programs such as bachelors of science, honors bachelors, masters, or PhD within their own discipline. First, let's look at the School of Interdisciplinary this interdisciplinary school of health sciences, which provides health education from an interdisciplinary perspective, which means more than one discipline, to study, analyze, and innovatively solve the complex health problems that arise at every stage of human life, Canada and around the world. This training prepares you for a multitude of positions in the public or private labor market, community health programs, among others. They offer an Honors Bachelor's of Health Sciences, which is a four-year program, is offered in both official languages and has experiential learning opportunities. As you can see, they have three options, which range from public health and population health, technology and innovation in healthcare, and biosciences of integrated health. Career opportunities range from health agencies in the public or private sector, non-governmental health organisms, and community health programs. Also offered at the Interdisciplinary School of Health Sciences is a minor in health sciences. 
This is open to all eligible U Ottawa students, and it provides students with an interdisciplinary health perspective to better understand the experiences of individuals and populations both in Canada and around the world. Students are exposed to the interactions of bioscience, social and environmental health determinants, and their combined influences on health, disease, disability, longevity, and health equity. At the, uh, at the graduate level, we offer a master's of science to further your studies in the field. I won't go too much into detail for the graduate uh, program, but I do invite you to um, attend the specific presentations if you're interested in any of these. Um, again, the school also offers a doctorate in population health. Now for the School of Human Kinetics. Training offered by the School of Human Kinetics will allow you to teach others how to improve human movement and implement positive lifestyle behaviors to treat and prevent injuries and illnesses. They offer an Honors Bachelor's of Science in Human Kinetics, which is a four-year program. It is offered in English, in French, and there is possibility of accreditation. The study options are applied kinesiology, and the career opportunities brings you to the field of kinesiology, personal trainer, exercise psychologist, or lab coordinator or assistant, among others. Fun fact, did you know that the famous quarterback Tom Brady sustained an important injury while in his career, but he was able to make a full return thanks to his teams of kinesiologists and what we call the kinesio taping method? This method is a rehabilitative taping technique that is designed to facilitate the body's natural healing process while providing support and stability to muscles and joints without restricting the body's range of motion. If you would like to explore the possibilities linked to the world of physical activity and sports, and maybe even work with world-renowned athletes, this program may be for you. Of course, you can also acquire the necessary skills to work with many other types of clients, young and old. Another program offered by the School of Human Kinetics is the Honors Bachelors of Human Kinetics, which is a concentration in social sciences. It is also a four-year program offered in English and French, and accreditation possibilities exist as well. There are different options. You can um, decide to gain knowledge in sports management and governance, or in community intervention, promotion, and programming. Career options um, are very varied. They, you can work in the field of sport and recreation management, development of recreation services and fitness programs in the community. You can also work with health and physical activity promotion. Coaching is also possible and physical and health education teacher. There is also a minor offered, which is called the Minor in Social Issues Studies of Sport, Physical Activity and Leisure. It is again, open to all eligible students and um, it offers the opportunity to deepen your knowledge and skills in critical analysis of social issues in the context of sports, physical activity and leisure to help you become agents of social change in and through sport, physical activity and leisure. The School of Human Kinetics also offers a Master of Arts in Human Kinetics, an integrated approach to the study of sport, physical activity, and health, which allows students and professors to share research interests and professional expertise, and to contribute to the broad field of human kinetics. The focus is on social, cultural, physiosocial, and administrative sciences, as they relate to sport, physical activity, and health. As you can see here, um, for graduate studies, the length of the studies is different. So an undergraduate program, we're lo usually looking at four years. Graduate studies usually vary from six full-time ter terms um, or 12 full-time terms. Then we, we move on to the Master of Science in Human Kinetics, which is an integrated approach to the study of sport, physical activity and health, which allows students and professors to share research interests and professional expertise, 
and to contribute to the broad field of human genetics. Here, the focus is on biophysical sciences. The school also offers um, a doctorate in human genetics. This, as you can see here, is worth uh, 12 full-time terms. Now for the School of Nursing, did you know what, do you know which is the number one job in Canada according to the Canadian Business Journal? It's actually nursing. There are many opportunities for employment and career development and it is a very rewarding profession as you can make a difference in the lives of many. This photo right here is of Janera and her mom. She is a first year student and I had the pleasure of writing a story about her involvement in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic in Ottawa. The school offers an honors bachelor's of science in nursing, which is a four year English and French program and there are placements available. You, by taking this program and choosing this career, you can work in hospitals, public health, home care services, long-term care services, community health centers, and government agencies. At the graduate level, the School of Nursing offers a postgraduate diploma in primary health care for nurse practitioners. The goal of the program is to educate enrolled nurses for an advanced practice role as a primary healthcare nurse practitioner. The graduates of this program are prepared to assume leadership roles in improving the quality of nursing care as nurse practitioners in various primary healthcare settings. We move on to the Master of Science in Nursing, which is to educate enrolled nurses for an advanced practice role and or doctoral studies. So basically it's a stepping stone if you want to uh, pursue your studies at the doctoral level. Which we have here. And the goal of the doctoral program is to prepare scientists capable of conducting innovative research that results in new and significant contributions to nursing knowledge. The students engage in creative thinking, critical appraisal, and synthesis of scholarly work in their field of interest. As I said earlier, what we eat can make or break our bodies. This program, the Honors Bachelors of Science in Food and Nutrition at the School of Nutrition Sciences, allows their graduates to be leaders in health promotion and sustain a healthy way of living in society. It also includes a variety of experiential learning, again, which just means that you can learn outside the classroom, which is a huge gain towards your university experience. There are different options. The first option, which you can take from the second year is the food science option for future food science specialists. The career opportunities range from food product developer, entrepreneur, food science researcher, and food inspector. Then we have the nutrition sciences options, which targets future dietitians. Dietitians working in clinical settings, communi community and public health organizations, food service management, communications and media, and much more. Here is a, is a photo of the Canadian Nutritional Guide, the updated version. This guide was created and is maintained by trained nutritionists. Why not join them and participate in their mission to improve the health of Canadians? Now we have uh, another program from the School of Nutrition Sciences, which is called the Honors Bachelors of Integrated Food Sciences. It is the first of its kind in Canada. It's an innovative multidisciplinary program delivered jointly by the University of Ottawa and Le Cordon Bleu in Ottawa. This program will prepare future graduates to take on leadership roles in any industry where food innovation plays a key role, including healthcare, education, hospitality, business, or research and development. Graduates of this program will have a broad, comprehensive understanding of food and nutrition related practices and will be equipped to provide strategic leadership and operational guidance in commercial settings. 
career opportunities such as food innovation consultant, food industry manager, food and nutrition research and development agent, nutrition consultant, molecular gastronomist, which has taken a huge leap lately, uh, food and nutrition manager. There's also a certificate in food policy and regulatory affairs, which is a duration of 11 months. It's a professional, um, it's a professional certificate. It is only offered in English. Participants benefit from a compressed part-time schedule to develop the skills and knowledge they require to develop regulations and policies in the field of public health, food, and nutrition. Now we move on to the School of Rehabilitation Sciences. This school um, supports students to deepen their professional knowledge. There are all master programs and they have a length of two years. They are only offered in French and there are different courses available that you can um, take separately. Graduate programs such as audiology, occupational therapy, speech language pathology and physiotherapy. These programs can support you in your career goals after your undergrad program. So we have the program in audiology, again, only offered in French. They're all full-time programs and the capacity of these programs because they are professional are very limited. It's a full six full-time terms. So which means 24 consecutive months. Oh, sorry. There's speech therapy, as we mentioned. Again, the same, um, the same structure. We have physiotherapy. I also invite you to visit our website uh, where you can find more information about the program description, admission requirements, and more. And the Master of Health Sciences in Occupational Therapy. And then we have the Doctorate in Philosophy. There you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation as much as I did preparing it. Choosing your undergraduate program can feel overwhelming, but you're on the right track. Of course, it's normal to have many questions and we are here for you today. If you have any specific questions, I'm guessing Katie, you're managing the Q&A. All good, excellent. I'm not sure if uh, participants can ask questions discuss, like verbally. Mm -hmm. Well, I can give you some of these Q&A ones to answer live as well, if you're comfortable with that. And then okay. if anybody has any other questions. Okay, let's try this. I'll say answer live and we'll see what happens. Did it come okay. up? <laughs> no, I don't see it. Ooh, okay. Maybe you can read it. Okay, perfect. I'll read it. So um, someone's asking, can I become a nurse practitioner through the University of Ottawa? Yes, you can. Perfect. But yes, you can, but there are different steps. It's not, so you won't become a nurse practitioner just by um, taking a program. There are different steps that you have to take and you have to have particular accreditations. Perfect. Okay. Another one is if I did extended French in high school, am I eligible for the French immersion program for health sciences? I believe you should be. However, um, I would invite you to visit the French immersion booth just to make sure um, that they answer your question correctly. And then they give you the steps to take. Perfect. Okay. Another one. Is there an undergraduate program within the School of Medicine equivalent to the Health Sciences program, or is it just for graduate studies? So the Faculty of Medicine is not a direct entry faculty, which means that you have to have uh, completed an undergraduate program uh, to be able to go into medicine. So I guess the answer would be no. <laughs> Um, yeah, though, for medicine, for sure. I was just going to say there is the yeah. uh, TMM program that I guess mm -hmm. some students can consider. So transmolecular, I still don't know the acronym, transmolecular and something, the other oh, M. Which um, you can find a TNM. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. A friend of two friends of mine are in it and I still don't know it. But that okay. one, uh, you can actually apply to. I'm just wondering, actually, you might need to be in the Faculty of Science. That's something yes, that would be the Faculty of Sciences. Yes, there are particular programs that you have to choose. So basically, if you're 
a pre-med, if you're thinking about going into medicine, what you have to um, what you have to consider is the courses that you're taking. So I suggest that you do a research um, before and see what the admission requirements are for medicine, just to make sure that you're planning your undergraduate studies um, in order to be able to, to get into medicine after. But yes, we do have program like for, for example, the um, bachelor's in health sciences could be an option for you. Okay, another question we've got here. Is the nursing program good for medical school? Again, good question, but you have to uh, make sure that you're looking into what is required to be able to get into medicine. There are particular courses that are required. Let's see if maybe we can pull up here. So I guess basically the answer would be yes and no. <laughs> you just have to make sure that you have the courses uh, required. Mm -hmm. I know nursing, yeah, nursing does have a very uh, rigid course sequence yes. as well. So in terms of fitting in- It's the more limited. Exactly. exactly. In terms because it's of more, fitting. absolutely. So it's a, it's a discipline that is more focused rather than if you say, for example, um, the program in health sciences, which allows you to pick and choose more um, and it has more of a multidisciplinary approach versus, as Katie mentioned, um, the nursing program. Okay, I'm going to give you this one because I don't know the answer to this. The question from Ashley is, do a lot of nursing students pass the NCLEX? N-C-L-E-X. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I think I know what, I think I've heard of it. Um, so, sorry, she, Ashley wants to know if a lot of nurses pass it? Pass it, yeah. Hmm, that's a great question. Um, Katie, or Ashley, not Katie, but Ashley, if you have a minute um, at 2.30, I believe, the English presentation for nursing will happen. So I strongly suggest that you attend it and we'll have a professor who will be able to most likely, 99% sure, answer that question more than uh, Katie and myself. Okay, another question. Um, what is the difference between health sciences and the other science programs? It's basically the course load and the approach that it, they're taking. Um, the health sciences general program usually has a different um, approach in the sense that it is multidisciplinary. So it can open doors, a wide variety of doors. It's for students that are not necessarily sure what um, profession they want or what field they want to specialize in versus the programs in science, which are usually much more career or professional oriented. Perfect. And then another question here, do you need um, math for you for nutrition programs? Yes, you do. Let me just Let me just verify something here. Yes, you do. Perfect. Okay, another one. Um, and this one might be good if you're interested in going to the nursing presentation as well, but what are the hardest aspects of the nursing program and what are the funnest? Um, I would say, and this is from, you know, an outside perspective from knowing the program, not actually doing it, but I believe the placements would probably be the funnest. That's actually like the culmination of your program and where you get to really interact with people and make a difference. Um, the hardest, it depends. It depends on who you are, what kind of a student you are. Um, if you like it, obviously it's, it's a lot less difficult. Um, but again, that's, that's really something that could vary from student to student. I would probably say the course load, not the course content, but the course load, it's an intensive program. Um, that's what I would say. But again, I invite you to discuss with the professor, the professor at the specific presentation. That's a great, great question. Okay, we've got some more coming in. Um, when are placements available for nursing? That is usually at the third and 
fourth year. Yeah. It's at the end. You usually start with the theoretical and then move on to the placements. Perfect. Okay, we've got another one. If you study French immersion, will your diploma say you graduated with French immersion? Yes. Perfect. Okay, and then another one here. Would a mixed math course substitute for a U-level math course? That's a good question. For specific and detailed questions about admissions and equivalencies and the courses that you're taking in your particular situation, I invite you to visit the admissions booth. They'll have reps at the chat and they'll be able to um, answer, uh, answer your question. Perfect, okay. I don't have any more questions in the open box. So I don't know if anybody's still writing or if they just wanna use their microphone at that point, this point. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Oh, we've got two more. Okay. If I void a course due to completing an AP French exam, can this count as a French immersion course? Those are very particular questions. I would, I would invite you to visit the French immersion booth. Just because I wouldn't want to mislead you, I'd rather that you, you talk to a rep from their booth. Okay, we've got a few coming in now. Okay, so uh, Angela asks, do we need to take any kind of test to be accepted into French immersion? Uh, no, you just have to have taken a number of courses in French in um, your high school. Mm -hmm. So I think if you have uh, the Delft B1 yeah. or B2, you're accepted uh, into the French immersion program, or you can take the French immersion admission test through the University of Ottawa and they'll let you know which level of French immersion or which courses you should take based mm -hmm. on your level of French that uh, the university recommends for you as well. Awesome. Perfect, okay. Um, so another one, Elizabeth asks, if we end up having the Delft this year, oh, will we have to take the French immersion entry <laughs> test? If not, when and how to take the French immersion entry test? So I think we just answered that. Yeah. Uh, but if you do have additional questions, Elizabeth, feel free to let us know. Okay, so Abdur asks, when do we choose our courses for the program? What do you mean if, if, you were, if you would apply? I think so, yeah, you've applied, you've been accepted, and then when do we choose our courses? Um, usually you could start course selection in, so if the program, this is, they're all entry programs for the fall, so then you would begin choosing your program uh, in June. Of the, of the year that you've been admitted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Okay, another one. Tracy asks, is this the undergraduate program of health sciences? I'm not sure if a link was supposed to come up with that one or if there was something that was supposed to follow so, yes, that. Yes, we, we are home to the undergraduate program um, in health sciences, yes. Perfect. Okay, so I saw Hassan's question came in a little while ago. As a grade 11 Quebec student, can I be admitted into this program? Sorry, can you repeat that? Yes, of course. So the question is, as a grade 11 Quebec student, can I be admitted into this program or this faculty? So secondary course? five. Mm -hmm. Right, so you do need an admission average of um, 85 and you need to have your um, particular courses. You, have, you need to have completed particular courses within your secondary five and the admission average to be able to be eligible for the program. Perfect. Okay. So uh, Angela asks, what is the ad admission average for the faculty or for health sciences? Um, it's 75. 75. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tracy asks, is SPH for you recommended for health sciences? It's a good question. Um, since it's a little bit more particular, I would, I would ask the admissions. Perfect. From Yeah, and from what I can see, even in the view book for health sciences, uh, it says that the prerequisites for the program are English for you or French for you, biology mm -hmm. for you, chemistry for you, and then one of the following. So advanced functions for you, calculus and vectors for you, or physics for you. Um, so as long as you have those ones, you're okay. And then mm -hmm. any other ones that you're interested in, yeah, you could definitely pursue. Yes. Perfect. 